Okay, day seven, camel cards. Your all expenses paid trip turns out to be a one-way five-minute ride in an airship. At least it's a cool airship. It drops you off at the edge of a vast desert and descends back to Island Island. Did you bring the parts? You turn around to see an elf completely covered in white clothing, wearing goggles, and riding a large camel. All oh, the O camel people are going to lose their shit over this one. Did you bring the parts? She asks again, louder this time. You aren't sure what parts she's looking for. You're here to figure out why the sand stopped. The parts. For the sand, yes. Come with me. I'll show you. She beckons you onto the camel. After riding a bit across the sands of Desert Island, you can see what looks like very large rocks covering half of the horizon. Yelf explains that the rocks are all along the part of Desert Island that is directly above Island Island, making it hard to even get there. Normally they use big machines to move the rocks and filter the sand, but the machines have broken down because Desert Island recently stopped receiving the parts. You've already assumed it'll be your job to figure out why the parts stopped when she asks if you can help. You agree automatically. Because the journey will take a few days, she offers to teach you the game of camel cards. Camel cards is sort of similar to poker, except it's designed to be easier to play while riding a camel. Of course. What? How does... Okay. In camel cards, you get a list of hands, and your goal is to order them based on the strength of each hand. The relative strength of each card follows this order, where A is the highest and 2 is the lowest. Every hand is exactly one type. From strongest to weakest, they are five of a kind, four of a kind, full house, three of a kind, two pair, one pair, high card. Hands are primarily ordered based on type. For example, every full house is stronger than any three of a kind. To play camel cards, you're given a list of hands and their corresponding bid. Basically, we have to do sorting. Let's read card bid, echo card bid. Now, what happened here? Oh, so we could do this. Okay, we can print all of the characters of the card. We can put that into sort, put that into unique dash C. We sort in that. So the best we have here is a, is a three of a kind. This is silly. We're going to do a case on counts. If we have five, this is type equals zero. Uh, if it's four, then it's type one. If it's three comma two would be a full house. And then three would be a, a three of a kind. So this one would be the... Uh, two two yeah so this would be two and then the last one is just high card so this is just our our star case so let's see it's saying that this one is a five what's a five a five is we have one pair so we got a pair of threes and nothing else great this one's a three because it's got a three of a kind on the fives this one's a four i think this is working from here we need to do a sort n so that gives us the best hands first but we need to do tie break so i think we want like k one n and then comma two key one is numeric and spans multiple fields so i want the second key okay that that reverses it oh shoot no we we need to do more pre-processing because they're not just sorted alphabetically Although maybe we could make them be. T is 10. All right, here's, here's a rule. We're, we're going to make this real confusing. Okay, T is now B. J is now C. Q is now D. K is E. A is F. Any questions? <laughs> is it cursed? Maybe. Does it work? Also maybe. So... So we're supposed to multiply its rank with its uh with its number. Cut space F2 5. 
think that's our equation, right? All right, we got the number. Oh, okay. It had to think for a minute, but it caught there. Now the question is, is this right? Um, all right, here we go. All right, who questioned me? I guess, uh, I guess we move on to part two now. To make things a little more interesting, the elf introduces one additional rule. Now, J cards are jokers. That doesn't make it more interesting. Wild cards that can act like whatever card would make the hand the strongest type possible. No, 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 no. To balance this, J cards are now the weakest individual cards, even weaker than two. The other cards stay in the same order. J cards can pretend to be whatever card is best for the purpose of determining hand type. I actually don't think this is that bad. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. So we start off, we're already translating J to C. We're already translating J's into C's. So the obvious first step here is just to change this to be a one, right? And now, now it's getting the lowest priority in the tie break. So when we're getting the counts, we need to find the line that says how many ones there are and combine that with the, so this, this is the best card. So I want, I want this information separately. Okay, so this is the raw data. Uh, echo raw. I've broken it completely. What did I do? Oh. Okay, so our best our best card is whatever this says. Okay, this is the best card for each hand. Best card equals this. That. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the pesky jacks. We're going to replace one with best card. And I think we just won. Let's, uh, let's check. 5905. I, I think we win the game. So bad news, bad, bad news. That's not the right answer, but we got five, nine, and five. This isn't good. Let's, uh, let's look at this. Let's, so the first example, oh, wait, that's an interesting one where the jokers are already the best. That's, that's our bug is line one. This should be a five of a kind, but it's not. Um, all we need to add is a little bit of, a little bit of logic. That was an easy spot. So the best card is going to be grab V1. No, nope, that's still not working. I wonder if we should do this here. Okay, now it says the best card is eight, five of a kind. I think that's all we needed to fix. The only case that I can think of that might be bad would be if we have all ones. And it looks like this still worked, even though it didn't have a best card. Um, I think this is going to be the right answer. We did it. Damn, we lost our streak, our, our flawless streak, but that's okay. I still think this is really gross, and it runs incredibly slow. I mean, we're also spawning like a, a truckload of processes. That was a fun one. I got really scared when I saw the wild card thing, but it turned out to be pretty easy. Like all you have to do is find your most repeated card and then make the the Joker mimic it and you win.